Dad, what are you wearing? So I have something to tell you. This is Melina Saval for Variety. Amazon's original series, Transparent, has been one of the most acclaimed shows on TV almost from the day it premiered. Showrunner Jill Soloway has crafted a show about an entire family in transition, in more ways than one. Costume designer Marie Schley came to the newsroom to talk about how the clothes for the stars, including Jeffrey Tambor, reflect Soloway's ideas and the show's themes. I think we approach Mara always as a fully rounded person, not just someone who's transgender. Her clothes reflect who she is in her past. She was a professor, she was liberal, she's Jewish, she's from the Palisades, and all of those things were influential on her character as much as the fact that, you know, transition. I mean, all my life, my whole life I've been dressing up like a man. This is me. And did Jeffrey Tambor play a role in deciding what she, he got to wear as she? Um, because he committed full throttle to this role. You know, we talked a lot about, um, Jeffrey was talking about, you know, the influences in the 70s and who the, you know, the musicians of that time were, and folk artists, and the mamas and the papas, and that would maybe be a style influence to Mora. And also, you know, just even in the fitting, sometimes it became just a tactile thing, you know. I remember we put earrings on uh, Jeffrey in the first fitting, and he wasn't feeling it, and then we changed it to a dangly earring, and all of a sudden he went, oh, it feels flowy and loose, and now I'm relaxed, and that kind of added to it. You had to do clip-ons, right? Yeah. Or did he, okay. He did say he was gonna pierce his ear for the ears for this year, but he hasn't. <laughs> he said he would do it for season two? Yes, because the clip-ons kind of hurt. Yeah. So when we shot the pilot, Jill said to me that she wanted more to teach every one of the women in the family about femininity. And so we did a play on that for all of the characters, whether it was okay. Shelly or Sarah or Allie. We never would have anyone in a skirt or a floral. And then when Sarah falls in love with Tammy, she starts to wear pinks and be more in love and she'll wear a dress and she becomes more romantic. It's so funny, like I am the happiest I've ever been in my <laughs> life. Allie is very much, she's still into kind of grunge. There's a lot of flannel, there's old ripped up t-shirts and she doesn't know who she is and she's figuring it out. In the beginning of the series, Allie has real body image issues. You know, I just want those like, those like nice sculpted arms and then like a nice little waist and then the big ass, like the little waist, big ass. And she, um, is sort of depressed and she hates herself, but she's still intelligent, she's still sensitive, and so, you know, it's not uncommon for people in Silver Lake to be wearing a perfectly ripped vintage t-shirt. Cool. And then it was always Jill's idea to have her in a suit at the funeral, and that was the arc of that character, and Jill puts a collage together often of the whole series, and you kind of look at it, and sometimes it's colors and different inspirational pictures on it, and she really saw purple too as sort of being this mystical, magical, androgynous color. And so we put Allie in a purple shirt. Judith Light plays a quintessential overbearing, neurotic Jewish mother. Jill wanted her to have be very angular, no softness to Shelley, and to be masculine. Mom, mm. why don't we go look for him? Yeah, we probably should because the temple is sending over a rabbi later to check on me. And if they find out he's missing, I'll be the talk of the temple, the lady who misplaced her husband. I always had a collar on her shirt. I always had a straight line. I wanted her clothes to all look a little bit dated, maybe 10, 15 years. Yeah. And not a lot of bright colors, correct? No, yeah. and, and each character kind of has a color palette and hers was lavenders and grays. And it's funny because Judith is very glamorous in real life and we would be in these fittings and she would put something on I'd be like Judith it's not it's not frumpy enough it's not yeah. frumpy enough we have to go farther and she was totally game we need something elegant and do you have a favorite outfit that Jeffrey wore as more on the show from this past season and why um well the rainbow caftan and it was just such an incredible piece that was made in Israel in the 70s and it was a rainbow and it just was beautiful and I couldn't, you know, it was one of those magical things where you're like, oh my gosh, this kind of embodies everything that this character is.